Rasmus Hoyland's lifestyle isn't what you think it is. He is Rasmus Hoyland now, a lovely finish. Rasmus Hoyland on his 21st birthday. Despite being the most expensive striker in United's history, behind the scenes, Hoyland's journey to the top has been full of so many stories, I decided to do a piece on United's next big star. And for Hoyland, where it all began was where everything changed. Rasmus Hoyland was born on February 4th, 2003, and it's safe to say he owns his sporting genes, all thanks to his parents. Anders Hoyland and Kirsten Winther. Hoyland's dad, Anders, used to be a former pro footballer, playing some of the Danish lower leagues and his mum, well, she used to be a local sprinter too. So he was always in his genes to be rapid quick. Rasmus's brothers, Emil and Oscar, have similar traits too. In fact, the three of them are all footballers, with Oscar still playing for Copenhagen in the Danish Super League, same with Emil too. But back to Rasmus now, and for him, football wasn't exactly the obvious choice, because if anything, it was simply one of the options. Growing up, Rasmus realised pretty quickly that he was a natural when it came to sports. He could run super fast, could swim and play tennis too, but ultimately once he got a test of the ball and grass, it was over. He made his mind up very quickly to focus on football. He became so interested in the sport alongside his brothers that their dad Anders reportedly had to build them a pitch in their basement, so they didn't end up breaking stuff with balls all over the house. Once he decided that he wanted to play and focus on football, his dad took the next step and by the age of four, Rasmus had joined the Horschel Academy. But he wasn't quite a standout. In fact, the years that followed were bleak. He didn't stand out till he was nine, and to make it worse, his brothers got all the attention. And people genuinely believed they'd be better off as pros than Rasmus. But still, Hoylund kept faith in himself, and by nine, he finally convinced everyone enough to believe in his talent. At least that's what people thought. But you see, guys, part of the reason Hoylund had become that good was all thanks to a secret link link up with his national idol, Niklas Bentner, the lord himself. Just like every other Danish kid growing up, Hoyland too wanted to hit the same heights Bentner had done in the Premier League with Arsenal and the national team. So when he realised that Bentner was in town, in Helsingborg, Hoyland became attached to him, following him everywhere and learning off a seasoned pro like that, it was bound to have positive effects on him. And pretty soon, Hoyland went from forgotten prospect to firing on all cylinders and becoming one of the most talked about kids in the city. At this point, it had become clear Hoyland was ready to make the next big steps in his career. So from Horsham, he moved to Bromley in 2015, impressing there as well. But where Hoyland's career really kicked off was when he turned 13, because at this point, he'd become so good that he'd attracted the interest of the biggest club in the country, Copenhagen. They were so huge that back when Hoyland was still in his early years as a little kid, his dad used to take him and and his brothers to go watch their games. And Hoyland fell so much in love with the club that he had goals won one day following for a team as big as Copenhagen. In 2022, Hoyland made this dream a reality. He signed a pro contract with the club, now 17, but it's safe to say looking back now, the experience here wasn't what he thought it'd be. In his first season, Hoyland made only four league appearances all season long. The reason for that was because the dude he was in direct competition with, Jonas Vind, well, he was on smoke. He'd scored 15 goals that campaign, and simply there was no way Hoyland was going to bench him. In his second season, though, things started looking a bit better for Hoyland, because at this point he'd started getting more minutes, and his total tally for Copenhagen now stood at five goals in 32 games. And it looked like this increase in minutes and form was gonna pay off, because the dude Hoyland was in direct competition with Jonas Vind. Well, the club had sold him off to Wolfsburg, meaning it was supposed to be Hoyland's big moment to shine his spotlight. But it didn't quite work out like that, and with only three days left to the end of the transfer window, Hoyland knew he had to do something fast, else his career was in danger. And that's when this happened! In 2022, he signed for Strom Graz from Copenhagen for a fee of $1.8 million, and the reason was to get more playing time. Once Hoyland realised he was going to be sitting on the bench for a major part of the upcoming season, he figured he could do with the move elsewhere to get playing time. 
At Strum Graz, he became a revelation and caught the eye on his first day when he made the statement that put him at the center of the attention. On the first day at his new club, Hoyland was asked who he could compare his playing style to and his answer left everyone stunned. I play just like Erling Haaland. Whoa, huge talk, but straight away Hoyland set to prove to everyone that he wasn't just capping, that he could back up the talk with action too. And his time at Strum Graz was an instant hit. He kept banging the goals left, right and center. In total, Hoyland scored 12 goals in 21 matches, and his electric form was so intense he'd started catching the eye of teams in the major European leagues, and his next destination was Italy. Atlanta came calling, and Hoyland answered. Now it became clear that he'd surpassed the expectations the coaches at his former club set for him, because in all honesty, they didn't believe in him. His two younger brothers, twins Emil and Oscar, both now at Copenhagen, were more obvious talents. Rasmus wasn't a standout. There were other players just his age as good. His talents you see today came much later. I won't lie. These were the words of Hoyland's former coach Christian Moreau and Hoyland was making him eat them up. Hoyland joined Atlanta for a fee of 20 million dollars and the initial idea was for him to join the team and play backup to strikers like Luis Muriel and Duvan Zapata. But thanks to injuries and poor form, Hoyland got his chances earlier than he thought and making the most of them too with 10 goals in his first 34 matches at his new club. But behind the scenes, something was going on, but Hoyland worried sick. His new coach, Gian Piero Gasparini, wasn't exactly the most friendly coach you'd ever see. The thing is, Gasparini was trying to turn Hoyland into his idea of a man by all means. See, because he was still new and didn't know his way round, Hoyland preferred to link up with his fellow Danish international, Joachim Mele, who was also at Atlanta. And the two of them would head on to team training from there until Gasparini said no. Banned them from carpool Hoyland wanted to see the funny side of it, and so did Mihaly too. Until Gasparini struck again, and this time he did something worse. I can't even say this out loud, guys, so I'd have to keep it hush. You didn't hear this from me, but Gasparini attempted to ban Hoyland from subscribing to Mr. Football. Crazy! Hoyland immediately resisted, forcing his way to hit that subscribe button, and at this point, it was clear he wasn't exactly comfortable at his new club. But for the national team, it was different because he wasn't just finding happiness here, he found love too. Hoyland had now become so good that he was fulfilling another one of his early childhood dreams, playing for the Danish national team. And he wasted no time in kicking it too because in his first official start for Denmark against Finland, he stole the show. A superb hat trick. It didn't just end there too because after the game, Hoyland was taking more than match balls home. He was puckering up too. Of course, he bagged a girlfriend along with his match balls. A certified bag now. Hoyland's woman, Laura Rod, is as stunning as they come. She met Hoyland months before his move to Atlanta and it was love at first sight. Laura's been on Hoyland's side ever since, shuffling between her native city in Denmark and Bergamo just to make time to see her man. The two of them regularly upload pictures and videos of trips, vacations and dinner dates. Ladies, back off, he's got a woman now. Back to the football and Hoyland was still trying to assess his first season at the club when he heard the rumor mill spin again, only this time what he was seeing was way beyond his wildest dreams. Manchester United? No freaking way. See guys, for weeks that summer, United was involved in a confusing situation. Earlier in the year, they'd lost Cristiano Ronaldo to Al Nasir, meaning the club needed a new striker that was gonna fill the gap needed at the club. So they turned all their attention to Harry Kane, and for large parts of the summer, it looked like Kane was all set for a move to United too. Dude, I even checked on Amazon and eBay and almost ordered cheap Kane United jerseys at half prices when Kane shocked everyone and chose differently. Whoa! Dude legit went to Bayern. If United's situation was difficult before, it became a hell lot worse because now they'd lost their top transfer target all summer and the season was starting in a couple of days. United's new coach Eric Ten Hag knew he had to act fast, so he went into the market again and once he saw how fast Hoyland was, the type of goal he could score and his general link-up play, it was a no-brainer. And weeks later, Hoyland was living out his wildest dream. he just signed for Manchester United. In case you didn't know, Hoyland grew up supporting the Red Devils and he's been a huge Cristiano Ronaldo fan ever since. Now he was getting the chance to actually play for them at Old Trafford. The stuff of dreams. The move to United sparked a change in Hoyland's fame too and made him become way more popular overnight. See, before his 
move, Hoyland had only 133k followers in April 2023. But as soon as United announced the news that the deal to sign Hoyland was now official, his followers went up into the 1 million category. Despite the famous broad, Hoyland still lives a pretty modest life. He'd rather let his football do the talking. But at United, he was about to find out that it doesn't come easy with the big time. Despite ending the Champions League group stage as the top scorer in the Premier League, Hoyland hadn't scored in the opening 14 games, and the critics were coming at him in full flow. Some were even calling for United to sign another experienced forward, questioning Hoyland's ability to perform on the big stage. But once again, he didn't let it get to them, and pretty soon he broke his Premier League duct in sensational fashion. Imagine scoring the winning goal at a packed Stratford end at Old Trafford. That's Hoyland's reality. Hoyland's now become so good, he even won the Premier League's Player of the Month award for February. Rising star, and he's only 21. Away from the pitch, and when he isn't scoring goals or tearing at opposition defences, Hoyland loves a clean getaway. No, I don't mean robberies and all of that evil stuff. The dude loves the open side, particularly in Africa, where he and his friends and family love to go on holiday. It's either that or he's on a date with Lauren out in Manchester. Despite maintaining his cool persona on the pitch, off it, Hoyland knows how to drip in a picture. Check him model this outfit for Adidas. Scandinavian cold. When it comes to his car collection, Hoyland prefers to keep the gas for this one on a low. Really low. He keeps the cars in check, and the only ride he's ever been publicly seen with is this limited edition Mercedes edition. A multi-purpose RV edition. Still on his personal life in terms of the drip game and the fashion, Hoyland has no tattoos. Probably because he'd rather people focus on his art on the pitch than off it. When it comes to his crib, it's believed that Hoyland stays in a modest apartment in the city close to the Carrington training area. So he's never late for training. I doubt if that'll happen anytime soon though, because Hoyland himself admitted that he's in a close group with a couple of the United youngsters, like Alejandro Garnacho, who are always checking on each other and trying to help each other grow. Rasmus is set for the big time. He's a different breed. He loves to keep everything simple from the haircuts to the fashion sense. It's not like he can't afford it, because on a closer inspection, Hoyland is on an 85k a week salary at Manchester United. And seeing as he keeps everything low profile and has no crazy spendings, the salary's decent. His weekly wage at United isn't the only source of income coming in. Recently, Hoyland's been spotted wearing some crazy new Nike releases, indicating that he's got a boot deal with the mega brand in the bag. It's clear that in a couple of years, Hoyland's going to move from the modest teenager United sign at the start of the season, eager to prove a point to perhaps becoming a household name, like his biggest United idol, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo at United needs no introduction, and the legendary goals he scored early on are part of the reason new breed players like Hoyland look up to him and try to copy the stuff he did. Hoyland's a huge CR7 fanboy, but don't take it from me. Check his ex. Proof. Just like Hoyland, another English Premier League star has been tearing it in the league and Europe this season. Arsenal's little red chili, Bukayo Saka, and his lifestyle will leave you stunned. From luxury cars to a crazy crib, a super expensive sponsorship deal, and the supermodel girlfriend who's incredibly beautiful. Click the next video to find out about Bukayo Saka's lifestyle.